the Macintosh boot screen. It's like the satisfying breeze coming from the outside when walking through automatic doors in a convenience store and you haven't missed it a single time after hearing your Mac's boot chime. Insert bong sound. And there she is. Apple's equivalent of your car engine turning over, giving you a good, I am working now. But car and Apple enthusiasts alike, that honeymoon phase is eventually over, and the boot screen becomes a moot point in the process of getting from the power button to seeing that kill me please facial expression near the bottom left corner of your screen. What if, however, you could change that boot screen? Let's take a look at the few ways I've discovered how to accomplish this. Now, the first method uses this app called Darkboot, which can be downloaded from the link in the description below. The process is actually very straightforward. I don't know what the earliest version of macOS is that it may or may not work with, though my experiment has found that it works on my 17-inch 2011 MacBook Pro running macOS Sierra 10.12.2. You are welcome to try this out for yourself. Simply launch the app and you have several options to choose from. Boot color allows you to change the background color of the boot screen and this applies to target disk mode screen, options menu, and the boot screen itself. Sometimes though, the boot color will not apply until you match the boot image background color or the boot image as well as the background color under both boot color and boot image tabs. It's something I'm still working on, it's a bit finicky. Simply try your best and play around with the settings until you have a working configuration, as this will be saved and repeated until you decide to change your mind. We also have an option to change the logon image to make it easier for those who would like to change the logon screen. For those interested in simply changing it to a retina or a pre-retina Mac style boot screen, simply change the background color under both tabs to black and insert the white on black logo under the boot image tab, which will be included in a downloadable zip file in the description below. To make it a non-retina style, select gray under boot color and similarly apply the gray apple logo under boot image. Now, there is a second and older method to this process, one which requires macOS Yosemite or earlier, or El Capitan or Sierra and earlier with rootless disabled, and may or may not work with Sierra even with rootless disabled. This app is called Boot Exchanger, which is also included in a zip file that I included in the description below. There is both an Intel and PowerPC version. The PowerPC version simply changes the 128 by 128 PNG image associated with the Apple logo, and this may even be the case on the Intel version. I say this because a while back on the macOS Sierra public beta, I managed to use Boot Exchanger with Rootless Disabled to make a full screen resolution boot logo on the MacBook Pro, I'll show a video in a second, sizing the dimensions to 1920 by 1200. I don't know the consistency of how this full screen trick works, however, you're more than welcome to check out Boot Exchanger and try this out for yourself. For the most effective results, use a 128 by 128 PNG image file so you don't run into disappointment when the computer reboots and doesn't give you a desired result. For this method, you are also not capable of changing the boot screen color, so you will need to manually set the PNG background color to the boot screen color or make it transparent in the file. Thank you for watching this mad rapid overview on how to change your Mac's boot logo. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, you know what to do. And subscribe for more as fast as possible instruction videos on your Mac. And I look forward to seeing you again. Super Ice Cream Sandwich, over and out.